Matt there as opposed to Nick? Uh, you know, I, we feel very comfortable with Matt running this offense. Um, you know, uh, however much changes throughout the week, it's just things he feels comfortable with doing. Uh, you know, we'll just kind of, uh, we've already sat down with him and uh, kind of go through the week and, and just try to adjust the game plans according to his things. And that's all you can do with any quarterback and any player. Is he the kind of guy that would tell you, I'm not comfortable with that, or seem more likely to want to be able to do it all and just tell you that he can't? No, I think each each player uh, is comfortable with different things. Um, uh, Nick likes certain plays that maybe Matt doesn't like, and uh, vice versa. I think everybody sees different things differently, uh, plays differently. So um, you just got to try to build your game plan around uh, the strengths of what you have on offense that week, whether it's uh, you know whatever you're trying to implement, whether it's the running game, whether it's the quarterback, whether it's uh, whoever, whoever, whatever the case may be, we got to try to do the best we can at uh, building our game plan around their strengths and what the defense gives us. Did you like his body language on Saturday, Matt? Matt, yeah, I, I don't have any problem with Matt. Uh, his body language, I think he's a confident guy. Uh, we know he can do the job. Uh, you know, I think it's been, a, you know, look at every uh, last year he won the starting job uh, before the first game. and. Uh, he really competed well uh, this offseason. So we have a lot of confidence in Matt. Not, Matt's not going to, um, you know, he's going to step up and do some great things for us on Saturday. And, and uh, hopefully as a team, as an offense, uh, we come together and win the game. You know, it's not, it's not about one individual player. It's about all 11. And, and uh, you know, at times this year, I've said this before, at times this year, we haven't played with all 11 guys. And, um, you know, it's bitten us a few times and uh, more than I'd like it to. Mike seemed to be concerned about, and this has been kind of maybe the mantra all season, that this offense is not very physical or is not physical enough for where it should be. Why is that right now, especially with veteran guys coming back on the offensive line? Uh, again, I think we uh, have to do a better job all, all around. Running backs got to do a better job of sticking it up in there. Um, you know, O-line got to do a better time uh, job at times getting pushed to the line of scrimmage. Uh, receivers got to do a great job of uh, reading uh, safeties rolling, um, support players, uh, who they need to get on a block, who they need to crack. So it's a, it's a combination of uh, those three positions. And, um, you know, as coaches, we got to give them the best situations um, to where, uh, you know, we can try to get some schemes to where, um, you know, we, we can get some numbers in the box too. So it, it's, not one, it's not one individual player. It's not one individual group. It's, it's, a, it's an offense as a whole.